Uh, this is a call in KYO2 True Wireless Earbuds. Now, this is the first time we're dealing with this brand on this channel. I cannot wait to see the performance. Let us open it up and get into it. Okay, this is the Corwin KYO2 True Wireless Earbuds. Let's take a look at it. On opening it, this is what we find. Um, extra ear tips, extra ear tips, different sizes. The charging cable. All right, we'll put those aside. We don't need them right now. Mm, it's a nice pouch here. Nothing on it. Let's just see what it looks like inside. Okay. Okay. I, I like the packaging. That's cool. All right. This is what it looks like. The Corwing KYO2 True Wireless Earbuds. Nothing spectacular about the case. Just your average, everyday looking design. I've got the Corwing name written on it here. Just under, under the indicator lights the battery indicator light for the case uh, behind it it's a reset button yes it's a reset button in case uh, for some reason maybe it's not connecting properly or you have a problem with one ear working and the other one not working hit the reset button and you can repair again and see how it works underneath usb type c charging port so that's good let's see what it looks like inside design looks okay now before we go any further let us do the shape test now if you've not been watching our videos for a while then you need to go back and see the reason why we do the shape test but i'm just gonna say it now the reason why we do a shape test is because we want to know that the magnet is actually holding down the earbud properly or for some reason maybe we put it in our pockets and we're not using them at the time we don't want them rattling around in the case because if they do it's actually gonna affect the charging so right now let's do a shape test All right, not going anywhere. The magnet is quite strong and that's a good thing. Okay, let's take out the earbuds and let's see what they actually look like up close. That's the right and the left. Let's put it aside for a bit. Nice design though, I would say. Okay, we've got two openings here for a mic. So one here and one here. I want to assume is to make it like omnidirectional. So whatever direction you're facing, you should be able to have a proper audio. Uh, there's a calling name written on the touch sensor there. And underneath the charging plates, now this is what it's supposed to look like. It should actually be on the surface and not depressed inside. You know, this is this is this is very good. Nothing spectacular about it. Otherwise, it's, it looks okay. It looks like it'll fit. All right, let's let's see how this fits. Let's let's see how this fits. Oh wow, that is very snug. Very snug. It feels really comfortable. Extremely comfortable. This is crazy. It's very comfortable. It's in place. You shake your head. It's not gonna fall off. It's very comfortable. I only see a problem though. When looking at this, the the mic is here. Is in two places here and here. The mic is in two places under here. Here and the other, on the other side. Now it seems like this part of the ear and the lobe and the ear lobe here seems to be blocking it. Uh, that might present a problem when it comes to to audio performance or sorry your cell your phone calls. That might actually present a problem. But otherwise, it fits real fits real comfortably, very comfortable. Yeah. So I suppose we all we have to do right now is um, see how it sounds. Let's test this. Let, let's let's pair this up. First of all, we gotta put them back in the case. I think it's the best way we can do the pairing because when we open the case, both earbuds has, have to connect to each other first before we do the pairing. And we open, they both pair first, and then we got our phones. I'll bring that out. There we go. Pairing was easy peasy. Easy peasy. It's time for us to test how this sounds. Let's, let's see how this sounds like. All right. Okay. Let us let's take this a bit.
That is loud. <laughs> nah. All right. Hmm. All right. Let's see if we can use one earbud at a time. Okay. Still working. Let's try the other one. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Ah, I'm a little disappointed. Just, just a little. It is very crisp. It is very clear. It is very loud. The mids and the highs seem to be balanced. You really have to be listening for it to notice the, the, the little distortions there. They are distortions, just a little bit, just a little bit, they are distortions. But the worst part of the audio of this thing is bass. I don't like a lot of bass in, in my earbuds because I'm not trying to rip my earbuds out. I, I don't like a whole lot of bass. At the same time, I don't want to struggle to hear it. This, you'll struggle to hear it. In a scale of one to 10, this is a two when it comes to the bass. This is, there is little or no bass to it. But everything else is clear, it's crisp. It is very clear and crisp. I'm not gonna say it's the best sound because there's a bit of a distortion when you increase the volume, but everything else is okay. I'm, I'm quite disappointed with this one. But I think there are people out there who don't like bass in the music and they wanna hear everything else except the bass. Some people think the bass overshadows the sound and, and the, and, the voice in, in music. I, I don't I don't think so. At the same time, I don't think a bass should be everything I'm chasing when it comes to sound. So um, I bet there are some people out there that would like this. But for me on this one, no, no. All right, um, I'm still gonna test this for another two weeks. I'll be able to have a, a decent opinion on how this works and what performance to expect from it. So I'll give you my observation after I test this properly. After using this device for some time, these are my observations. And I made a note. Playback time is four hours at high volume, but you get extra 20 hours from the charging case. So you can charge your case at least another four or five times. Connectivity was very stable at 10 meters. Pairing was flawless. Like you could just open the case and it pairs immediately to your phone. That was amazing. Now the calls from the earbuds was not so great. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think the, the mic was not placed properly because parts of your outer ear still cover the mic. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'll give it a four. The sound quality was very balanced, very clear, very loud, but at high volumes, it tends to get a bit distorted. You really have to be listening for that. Uh, something else I discovered about the bass, it's kind of selective like it comes in and out. Like when I was doing the test, there was no bass at all. I realized that some songs, the bass is selective, like it comes in and out. But if you're listening with other earbuds, it tend, there tends to be bass from the beginning till the end. But even with the whole selective in and out thing, you still have to, stre you still have to strain to hear the bass. It's not very loud. It's not, it's, it's not balanced with the rest of the, of the sound. So some people might like that, some might not, but for me, no, I don't like that. Well, those are my observations. There you go. Thank you for watching the video up till the end. Remember to like the videos, share them across your social media platforms. Subscribe to the channel if you're watching for the first time and you've not subscribed yet. Click on the notification bell. Leave a comment in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the videos and until next time, Take care.